conduct is very serious. Um, it's agreed, particularly egregious. And the child is 14 years old or older, they could try this minor as an adult under 707B of the Welfare and Institutions Code. If they charge your client as an adult with certain conduct and uh, the, the, uh, uh, the judge finds this juvenile guilty or the jury finds a juvenile guilty, if they go to the youth authority, now it's called the juvenile justice system, they'd have to register as a sex offender for life. However, if they don't get tried as an adult and they're adjudicated a ward of the court and simply receive probation, I don't care how old you are if you're a minor, you will not have to register as a sex offender because you didn't go to prison. Basically, the basic rule of thumb, if you're a juvenile committing a, a sex crime, registration is mandatory if you go to prison. If you don't go to prison and merely get probation, even if you serve some jail time in juvenile hall, you will not have to register as a sex offender. So the punishments can be the same, depending upon the seriousness of the crime and what the DA decides to do, charge you as an adult or charge you as a minor. And the court has a lot to do with it because if you go to prison, you'll have to register. If you simply get probation, you won't.